Ladies and gentlemen, the last sneak peek for the upcoming double mid-month update has been revealed, and it is Maya Lopez. So the Echo Show from January is going to be getting a mini update, and you can see Maya here with her motorcycle. I admit she looks quite cool, um, and the masterful warrior known as Echo re-emerges in Marvel Future Fight Poise to showcase her extraordinary abilities and turn the tides of battle once again. So let's go ahead and check this out here. The superhero who can channel the powers of her ancestors while taking out enemies with exceptional martial arts skills has risen to find her true self, Maya's Return. Explore the fresh appearance and enhanced abilities of this superhero who has transcended her past as an assassin, inspired by Marvel Studios' Echo. We will announce more details through the patch, de uh, the patch notes later. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Echo. Yep, I've seen X-Men 97. I know a lot of you probably want an X-Men 97 update right now. Uh, we're probably not getting one for a couple months. But, yeah, I mean, I heard the show was pretty good. I just haven't seen it. Uh, her, her outfit looks really cool. Her outfit looks really cool. I love the motorcycle. I'm a big fan of motorcycles. Um, what's his name? Ghost Rider uh, has one. But, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that... I'm guessing some people are upset with this because they were hoping for either more Black Order characters or uh, they were hoping for uh, something like Gambit or X-Men 97, like I mentioned. And I have to say, I mean, the sneak peek is good. It's very good. It's got nice animation and nice uh, sound effects and stuff. But I have to say, uh, this update could not feel more disjointed, right? If you, if you go now and think back on it, and I don't see... I think I, I missed the Tier 3 and Tier 4... Uh, teasers in the last sneak peek i don't know if i see them here oh yeah yeah on the on the motorcycle yep on the motorcycle right there yep i'm so blind it's scratched into the motorcycle right there you can't really see it until the camera turns uh and then it gets really small but yeah there's definitely a four there and then there's prop there's most likely a t next to it yeah so she's getting a tier four that's huge it'll be interesting to see what typing they go with for echo if they keep her as a speed type or maybe they turn her into a combat type. Um, that could be very interesting for people who recently invested heavily into uh, Hope Subbers. But it's also interesting. This is the only sneak peek, which means there's no Kingpin. Which means we're stuck with Dr. Octopus for quite a bit longer. Yeah. Now, yeah, what I was saying before I cut myself off, uh, disjointed. The update definitely feels disjointed because if you look at it now, it's... You know, it's the seasonals plus Thanos and Black Swan. And you're like, okay, sure. And then they, they had to do the seasonals at some point. And then we get Thane and, and, and Ebony, which, of course, lends itself to Thanos. But not really, right? Because Ebony's uh, artifact buffs the Black Order. And Thanos is not part of the Black Order. And it's just so awkward. And then now the, the double mid-month, we were thinking, oh, maybe it's going to be like Proxima Tier 4. Buff up the synergies more. Maybe it's going to be uh, Black Dwarf or, or Corvus Tier 4. And now it's Echo, which has absolutely nothing to do with any of these characters, right? The only connection you can make whatsoever is that if Echo stays as a speed type and continues to have speed buff leadership stuff, then she could obviously be paired with uh, Black Swan. And maybe with Angel, I guess, if you wanted to do that. I don't know. Why would you do that? I don't know. But yeah. It's interesting. Another speed tier four potentially, um, and also a leader. Uh, not a not really a support. She does have a support, but it's it's quite bad. I think it's just like twenty percent ignore dodge for all allies or speed allies or something like that. Um, I don't think her original base kit has a support. I know it has a great leadership for the likes of Jean, etc., um, which could be helpful to some players. Uh, so maybe they're going to tier four Echo for the leadership, but. Yeah, that's that's. I'm not in. The, I'm I'm nowhere near that realm. Most players are nowhere near that realm of tier fouring for leaderships and tier fouring for supports, just yet. So yeah, I would say kind of a disappointing sneak peek. Although I do like Echo and I do like the the look of this uniform and the motorcycle. Um, it just comes at a time where people were hoping for more hype and and a more cohesive idea and a more cohesive update. But hey, I told the devs and they didn't listen. So. What can you say now that the video has 25% down votes? I guess it's just a coincidence. I guess I wasn't right. It was just a coincidence. Um, but yeah, we have something more, much more interesting to talk about.
Uh, we have the nine year anniversary development team letter of appreciation. That's right, folks. Right before the anniversary, just like right before Black Friday, there's a dev note. What a surprise, guys. Whoa. This is not meant to, you know, uh, <laughs> this is not meant to bait you into spending more money. No, not at all. This is just a coincidence. They just happen to have a lot of nice things to say right before they flood the in-game store with tons of deals and sales. Yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a pure coincidence, guys. Uh, just like I know, just like I know by looking at the calendar, okay? I can use my powers of, of I can use my, my mutant powers of deduction to know that on... Um, on November, or so, yeah, November 22nd or November 25th, we're gonna get another uh, dev note for uh, for Black Friday. Yeah. Anywho, let's see what the dev note has to say. S sarcasm and, and cynicism aside, we would like to greet our agents to share the joy of the nine-year anniversary of Marvel Future Fight. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to agents who have been playing for such a long time and will continue to work hard to provide the best gaming experience we can. Our team is constantly thinking about ways to deliver new vitality and fun to our agents through game improvements as well as the development of new content. In this nine-year anniversary letter of appreciation, we evaluate how we met our goals stated in the previous letter and have been carried out as well as introduce the changes that will come in the future. Okay, so they're patting themselves on the back. Looking back on the past year, new PvP content and growth system. In hopes of engaging in battle with many heroes, we added a new PvP content Otherworld Battle. In addition, through the new growth system, X of Swords, agents can make all of their superheroes more powerful. Okay, yeah, I mean, this content was good, for sure. Some of the better content they've introduced. Um, they still need to improve Otherworld Battle, though. This is, this, is kind of, this is kind of my issue. This is everyone's issue with Marvel Future Fight, is that they think, they think they're done. They cook it once and they think they're done. And you're not done. You can't just have sex once and that's it. You never have sex with your wife again. You have to keep having sex. You have to keep you have to keep being there in the relationship. You have to keep putting in effort. It's not just a one-time thing. Okay? Go back and cook it again. Spice it up. You know? Improve improve it. Improve it. New hero release. Over the past year, many heroes have come tomorrow. Future fight. Uh, like Spot, Kang, Omega Red, Man Thing, Sylvie, Kahori, Havoc, Exodus, Hope, <laughs> Exodus, fucking hell, uh, Madeline, Quasar, Icon, and Black Swan. Uh, let us know. Even more heroes and villains will be released after the nine-year anniversary, so please look forward to it. I think they did a good job here. Yep, I I'm not gonna be sarcastic about this one. They did a good job. They're releasing good characters for the most part. All of these characters are strong enough. Um, they could be stronger, obviously. I've I've spoken a lot about this clown, um, but overall, they spelled icon wrong. Wow. Yeah, whoever whoever does the translation does not play Marvel Future Fight. He doesn't doesn't is, is not a Marvel fan. They spelled icon wrong. Okay, um, but yeah, no, they did a good job. They definitely pivoted pretty well on this one. Uh, because they, remember, before this, before Spot, they were releasing, like, one character every four months. It was a disaster. They were, they were really, uh, you know, basically giving up on new characters, and they, they pivoted fast. They heard players complaining, and they pivoted pretty fast, and this is good. This is very good. Uh, new world boss and upgrade support mission. Right. To provide agents with the fun of conquering world bosses, we added Kang and Black Swan, which can only be challenged with Tier 4. This is stupid. This is stupid. We also added Tier 4 upgrade support missions and progress missions that aid the agents with their Tier 4 advancements with less materials spent and more materials dropped. That's very good. Yes. Moreover, World Boss Legend Plus will be... Will, difficulty will continue to be added. And additional event reward improvements are being prepared to support our agents' hero upgrade. Okay, I like this idea. This is, sounds nice. Additional event reward improvements. That's good. Um, what is this? What are you trying to say? You're going to release someone after Black Swan? Please don't do that. Please stop. Stop. That's enough slices. Okay? That's enough slices. All right. New content. This is what we want to see, baby. New content. Let's see. We are developing three new pieces of content to provide our agents with refreshing fun. Three, guys. Three. Yeah. Hammerschmidt. Let's go. The first one is a new form of narrative content. In this content, the characteristics of the hero will stand out as much as possible and agents will be able to enjoy the maximum fun from exploring a story rather than simple repetitive play. Now, it's true 
that having content that's non-repetitive can be refreshing. However, the fact that they compare it to Legendary Battle and Epic Quest scares me, because those two pieces of content have a lot of effort put into them, and then you finish them like this. You finish them in two to three days, and then you never touch them again. And the hardest part these days about an Epic Quest or a Legendary Battle is watching the content window open and then close. And then you don't know when it's going to open again. So the, the biggest thing here is if you guys are, if they're develop, if they're spending time, if they're spending dollars, if they're spending the, the time of the devs developing a form of narrative content that the players are just going to eat through in two or three days, and then we have nothing to do. And then they're going to say, okay, guys, that's the content. Okay, come back in three months for new content. Players are going to, you know, so they, they have to find a way they have to, by the way, the answer is rewards, but they have to find a way to make this narrative content engaging long term. This is something they have not been able to accomplish. They have, they have never even tried to accomplish it with Epic Quest and Legendary Battle. We've been begging them since the Black Widow Legendary Battle. We saw how amazing that Legendary Battle was in terms of the, the battles, that little uh, motorcycle mini game versus the Taskmaster tank thing. It was so good. And we were like, please just make the rewards better in Legendary Battle or do something to reward us so that we want to repetitively play it because it's so fun. And they're like, nah, we're not gonna do that. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Oh, let's, let's look at the numbers. Is anyone playing Legendary Battle a week after it launches? Nobody's playing Legendary Battle a week after it launches. Nice. Hey, is, that, is anyone playing uh, uh, Epic Quest uh, a month after it launches? Nobody's playing the Epic Quest, except for new players, of course. Nobody's playing the Epic Quest a month after it launches. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Good thing we spent all this money and all this uh, time. Yeah. Put it, putting in this this content that's a one and done. Yeah. Very nice. This this is this is a one night stand content. Okay. This is a to, to continue the sex joke from before because haha, sex funny. Okay. This is a one night stand content. We do not need more of this. We, I repeat, we do not need, do not need and do not want. We do not want more one night stand content. I don't know who is yapping over at Netmarble Monster saying the players want more of this content. We don't, we don't look, look in the comments of this video. Look at the upvotes, look at the downvotes. Just look, look on the forums, look on Twitter, look on Reddit. Nobody wants this shit. No one is saying, man, I wish we had more legendary battles, man. I can't wait to play the content once and then never fucking play it again. Like, no one is saying that. No one is saying that, okay? You're on drugs or you're stupid or you're just disconnected from reality. So please don't, please don't, please don't do this. Please, please, please don't do this. Please, please, please don't do this. If Again, if you're going to do this, if you have to do this, then you have to make it fun to play you have to make it meaningful or rewarding in some way to play it again and again because this is the thing a story right this is why marvel future revolution fucking died yeah like I, i'm getting so mad when i think about this because they're so stupid it, it like it, it it's like psychic pain to, uh, like it's, i have zero percent mind resistance here bro marvel future revolution literally ugh, died in six months because you guys put all of your fucking chips into a non-repetitive story mode. Literally, you're like, how could we how can we make this game so good and revolutionary? I know we're gonna give each character a non-repetitive, one-time playable story mode that you have to go through. And then players were like, I'm gonna off myself. I don't wanna do this. It's so boring. And you killed your own game. And now you're taking the worst of that shit and you're bringing it over here? Don't bring don't bring the fucking MFR cancer to MFF, please. No, thank you. I've been fucking STD clean my whole life. I'm going to stay that way. All right? Jesus. Please make this. Please, for God's sakes, make this, make this different. Make this good in some way. All right, let's see what else they have. Holy shit. All right, stroke over. Let's see. Uh, second, we will be preparing a new collectible growth content. Okay, sure. This content will be of interest to any Marvel Comics fan. The focus is on the fun of collecting, and the growth elements will be designed to be uncomplicated. <laughs> uncomplicated to the devs. Let's let's see what that really means. 
Um, agents can receive various benefits by using what they collect. By using what they collect. So please look forward to it. Again, this is this sounds nice. It's very vague. It's very, very, very vague. Uh, so I can't really comment too much on it. And I'm not really going to get hype for it because it's just it's too vague. Um, it sounds nice, though. In, in, in theory, it sounds nice. We'll have to wait and see what it is. We'll have to see, wait and see how grindy it is, how pay to win it is, you know, how much power they're offering, right? Like how much of a power creep is it? Um, and, and again, what kind of impact it has on the game and, and how, how thematic it feels, etc. We'll have to wait and see. Lastly, we are preparing a new multiplayer content. Okay, I like multiplayer content. Yeah, that's great. This content will be developed with the concept of blocking waves of enemies together. Agents will be able to enjoy the fun of cooperating and using their favorite heroes that they have grown. Each individual's role will also be important in this new content. Okay, this sounds like the most promising content. I have to say, this sounds by far like the most promising content that they've announced in a, in a long time. Um, this sounds very, very good. This sounds very, very good. It, it could be shit. I'm not, I'm not saying it, it, it is good. I'm just saying it sounds good. It could be bad. They could, they could completely botch it by making the rewards garbage and saying, you know, the, the reward you get is the personal satisfaction from playing the game. And it's like, no, that's not how games work these days. Sorry. You actually have to make it worthwhile to play, um, in order for people to play it. So yeah. I, I am worried about that from a rewards perspective and sort of like a, a, a feeling of, of satisfaction perspective. But I do like multiplayer content. I really do like multiplayer content. And I, and I think Marvel Future Fight needs more of it. Um, the concept of blocking waves of enemies together. Now, I think this is a, a wording problem or, or a, um, a translation error. You're probably not going to be literally blocking them because that would be stupid what well, would you always use captain america you need like shield characters i think they mean like killing right like destroying defeating um maybe they mean like holding back right which is still a form of killing um because like a tower defense game right you have to you have to stop the enemies from reaching the end of the tower defense but stop means kill right it doesn't it doesn't mean like actually uh immobilize them right because you actually have to end their life so that they stop uh being part of the wave so this probably means, yeah, this probably means stop or kill. This sounds sort of like a group tower defense uh, or like a multiplayer sort of tower defense blocking waves of enemies together. And I do enjoy uh, using their favorite heroes that they have grown, the cooperation. Um, hopefully they don't have some sort of... With things like this, you have to worry about the devs not understanding that everyone is just going to bring Jean Grey. Um, and so hopefully they have some sort of rule where there's no duplicates allowed so that not every player, uh, you know, if I queue up with, with two of my friends or whatever, let's say it's, it's three players, um, that, uh, you know, we're all just going to use Jean Grey with Ghost Panther lead and Dazzler support. Okay, guys, let's queue up for another, uh, defense mode. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I'm falling asleep, right? So ho hopefully they don't do that. Hopefully they understand that. Um, you need to force people to use, you need to force players to use different characters in order for their role to feel unique, in order for their um, their 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 job and their input to feel unique. You know, if everyone's using the same thing, then I don't feel special anymore. I want to feel special because I'm bringing someone new, someone different, and and I'm still making an impact, right? So yeah, sure, my teammate brings Jean Grey. That's cool. He's a newer player. We, we forgive him for that. But my other teammate, oh, my other teammate brings Black Swan. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, why did they bring Black Swan? Now I'm thinking about it. And oh, I brought Thanos. Wow, this is really cool. So we each brought someone different. What's going to happen? See, there's questions. There's mystery. There's no mystery when everyone brings the same character and you know exactly what's going to happen. There's no mystery. When there's no mystery, the game's not fun. Right? So please, please introduce some goddamn mystery into the game. Right? Just like PvP is not fun because everybody uses the same team. So there's no mystery because every single match in PvP is a mirror match. It's like whoever I have is whoever everyone else is going to have. And it's always the same shit. And I'm trapped in a fucking simulation. So yeah, hopefully they don't do that. Uh, and then yeah, it's, it's really promising that they say each individual's role will be important to the new content. It sounds like maybe... They're going to have uh, distinct roles for each player. Maybe one player is going to be uh, the damage dealer. 
one character is going to one player you know is going to be in, in, responsible for like healing the team or doing some sort of like auxiliary support and then maybe another character's responsibility is defense or something like that again i don't know how this kind of this kind of stuff is going to manifest itself in the game this sounds really cool but it could be boiled down to just like you each have a different button to press like an extra button instead of the co-op skill and the button does something right so your button is you you shoot the you shoot some missiles it does damage my button i press it it gives everyone a shield for five seconds and then the other person's button they press it it heals everyone for uh 20 of their hp uh every every second for two seconds or whatever right it could be as simple as that that's still pretty that's still cool honestly that's that's still kind of revolutionary for marvel future fight um but we'll have to wait and see this again this sounds very promising but it also has some very obvious pit holes uh, and pitfalls that the devs are notoriously good at falling into and being like, oh no, we had no idea. Oh! And then the players are just sitting there like, we we told you, we told you like 50 times, and you didn't, and you just did, you just refused to listen. You're just your hubris and your arrogance. You're just like, I know everything, and and you just, you know, you kind of just shit the bed. So yeah. Anyways, uh, PvP contents to be improved. What? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. We have listened to the opinions that our agents have continuously sent in the love, in, sent in with love and interest in PvP content. Uh huh, uh huh. First of all, we apologize for the delay in providing guidance. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. As we carefully discussed how to proceed, since adjusting PvP content hastily without sufficient preparation may have led to disappointment. I hate this. I hate this. I, I don't like this. I don't want to spend a long time talking about this, but. This is not a real answer because you can always make changes and then you can just revert them next month. There's there's no there's no there's no harm here. There's no harm here. You look at the data, there's less than 10,000 people playing Vibranium. Less than 10,000, less than 5 digits worth of players because you you do one fight in Vibranium and you're already rank 8,000 or 9,000. There's just just one fight. Okay, just one fight. One literally one fight. So, 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 you know, you're not affecting, you're, A, you're not affecting that many players. And B, showing that you're changing things. Even if you change, even if you say the next month, hey guys, this didn't work. We're going to take it away. We're, we're already sunsetting this, but we're going to try something new. You know what that shows? That shows initiative. That shows that the game has, what is this? The game has a pulse. People like that. People like that. It drums up hype for the game. It drums up support for the game. It drums up conversation. Then you have other people who don't play the game. They're looking and they're saying, wow, what's going on with this game? They keep changing things. That's kind of interesting. Change is fun. Maybe I'll try this game. There, there, no, nothing is possible when you change nothing. It's a very simple concept. If you change nothing, then nothing will change. So this is a bullshit answer. Because what do you what do you need to what do you need to carefully discuss for for seven years about Alliance Conquest? You guys have not changed. You have not meaningfully changed Alliance Conquest in years. What are you carefully discussing? How how many thumbs you can fit? There's nothing to meaningfully discuss. There's nothing to meaningfully discuss. You're lying. You're you're just this is just a lie. This is just a bold faced lie, and it's just frustrating because it's like the alternative is simultaneously easier and better. I mean, it's not easier. Obviously, it's harder to do something than to do nothing. But like, I don't know, man. I just hate this shit. Anyways, let's continue reading. Uh, timeline battle. To reduce attackers' weaknesses, adjustments will be made to skill cooldown times. The penalty of having a skill cooldown immediately after tagging a hero was previously only applied to attackers. However, it will be applied equally to attackers and defenders after the May update. Okay, so this is not coming with this update. This is coming after the 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 larger update in May for the like for that main update. Okay, um, so then okay, so everyone's gonna have cooldown now. So instead of re removing uh, the attacker's cooldown, they're just adding a cooldown for the defenders as well. The defenders being like the people you attack, not Luke Cage. And okay, in addition, we are considering adjusting various penalties for attackers through sufficient discussion. Wow, so they're they're not even making a change yet. Holy beans, dude. They're just considering making a change. This is not good, man. You guys are so pussy. Why are you guys so afraid to make changes? I don't I don't understand this mentality, man. I really don't. The devs of this game are so cowardly. They're so scared to make changes. Just make changes, man. You're not gonna kill the game. Don't be scared. 
We are also planning to apply convenience features, such as specifying the number of auto repeat. Oh, come on. No one gives a shit about that. No one cares, bro. Nobody cares about this. Nobody cares about that. Please don't waste time on this. Don't wait. Don't wait. Nobody cares. Everybody just does their 10 timeline battles and then they dip. Okay. What else? Other world battle. The debuff character system will be enhanced to allow more diverse heroes to be used in other world battle than before. Through this, we will provide agents with the fun of experience, varying heroes and forming more diverse teams. Okay. Again, this is very vague. This is very vague, but I like it. I like the idea. I like the thought process. Okay. Right? Okay, great. Conquest. To reduce the fatigue of the Alliance Conquest, we are considering adjusting both the duration and the battle time. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. No kidding. In addition, we are considering other various changes, such as simplification of the region conquest method. However, since Alliance Conquest has many elements that need to be approached carefully, it is expected that it will take a while for these changes to be reflected in-game. Wow, dude. Wow. That's sad. They have they have they have done so little for conquest and they're still dragging their feet. They're like, oh man, we have to go dig up the guy that invented Alliance Conquest because he's dead. Because the game mode's been around for so goddamn long. The guy who made it in the grass six feet under. Are you kidding me? Listen, if the game mode is this difficult to change, just get rid of it. Delete it. Stop, stop um, like leading the players on. The players that play Conquest, I'm not trying to to you know, railroad you. I'm just, I'm just, it's frustrating to see them dangle the carrot and then take it away and, and return with one kernel of corn and being like, hey, this is the best I could do. You know, it's really frustrating. And I feel like they either, they don't know how to change Alliance Conquest. They don't understand the code of Alliance Conquest, like to go in and change it uh, literally as developers, or they just don't have the mental capacity to, to and the creativity to come up with better answers because the community has easily come up with like a dozen better options for alliance conquest like a dozen solutions and i'm not talking about insane solutions where you're like i want a full screen uh cinematic you know quick time event i want like rotating cameras and i'm not talking crazy shit i'm talking like simple shit like just simple you know like not stuff like stuff that you can show a, a software engineer and they're like yeah this is not that difficult to do this would not take uh, you know a, a whole team of people uh weeks or months to do like you guys are just lying you're you're either lying or you're or you're severely incompetent it's one of those two things like we've reached the point where we have enough information you're either incompetent or you're lying to us so just stop it just just stop right like the veil is gone you can't hide behind this like oh conquest is so complex um just kill the game mode or actually meaningfully change it right i want you to meaningfully change it but if you if you refuse to do that just kill the game mode because you're just you're just leading players on you're just lying to them and uh you know making them dragging out their misery and it's sad okay pvp content stat adjustments our team concluded that in order for a wider variety of heroes to be active in pvp than currently the impact of additional pierce damage should be reduced we have con we have been contemplating this for a long time okay the additional pierce damage stat not only plays a key role when challenging pve bosses but also drives team composition with strong attacks as the core in pvp making the performance of certain heroes stand out yeah the, the heroes that you designed you <laughs> They're acting like they didn't design the heroes. Like, you guys designed Adam Warlock that way. That's your fault. You knew this was going to happen. You designed insanely toxic and oppressive characters like Jean Grey and Adam Warlock. And now you're like, whoa, guys, the system's kind of toxic. Yeah, no shit. You designed it. Accordingly, we are preparing improvements to allow agents to use a more diverse selection of heroes in PvP battles by adjusting the applied additional pierce damage stat ratio in pvp content that's good that's good we are also considering adjusting the balance of other stats other than additional pierce damage by changing their ratio in pvp yeah like increasing defense yeah exactly it, it, like increase the defense multiplier uh, increasing the hp multiplier decreasing the crit damage multiplier um yeah exactly exactly Adjusting the balance in the game is something that needs to be done very carefully, and we think it is more important to elicit understanding from our agents than anything else. No, no, it's not. No. Uh, our team will keep this in mind and approach balance adjustments carefully. No, listen, listen. <laughs> listen, let me be honest with you guys. The game is nine years old. 
you're running out of time. The Marvel brand is as weak as it's ever been. There's no end game. There's no Infinity War. There's no, you know, hype for Kang. You guys, like, not you guys, but Bob Iger and, and Kevin Feige, they shit the bed, right? They shit the bed. So all those players that were supposed to come to Marvel Future Fight because of how amazing Quantumania was, how amazing, you know, these other movies were and these TV shows were, they never showed up. They never showed up. So the, the viewership is dwindling. The daily active users is dwindling. So you need to you need to elicit excitement, not understanding. You need to elicit excitement from the fans. You need to light a fire under our asses so that we get hype about the game. And then we can do f literally free marketing for you guys. Right? Because you don't because we know you're not spending we like well, we know you're still spending money on marketing, but like it's not working because no one's interested in Marvel. So you need to focus on what's interesting about the game, which is the fact that it's a game, right? You're still so scared to make changes to the game from a game perspective because you're relying solely on the Marvel IP to continue generating new players for you. And while I understand that that's the safe route, that's the safe bet, I don't think it's going to work. Sure, Deadpool 3 is gonna show you a little bump. Deadpool, Deadpool 3 is definitely gonna show you a little bump. And you're gonna misinterpret that bump as, we should keep doing the slow and steady approach. The slow and steady approach doesn't work for a nine year, 10 year game. The slow and steady approach works for a five year game or a three year game, but we're obviously way past that point. So you have to accept the reality of, of what you're in now and you have to be a little bit more bold. I'm not telling you to, to run the game into the ground with insane changes every day, right? But but you know, you, you guys have been you guys have been on, on one out of ten for risk taking. You know, you've been in, you've been in the most conservative attitude for years now. You can dial that up to a two or a three or or even a four out of ten. Actually, you can dial that up a little bit. You can change your risk tolerance to you know a medium instead of it always being very low, um, because people are going to get tired. People are going to get bored, and people do get bored, and people do get tired, and people do you know get um, indifferent to Marvel content. But you know what? People don't get indifferent to good content they don't get indifferent to good content that's why games with a much weaker ip like clash of clans hog rider like that kind of shit has been around for even longer than marvel future fight and you know what clash of clans will probably outlive marvel future fight and it's not because the ip is so strong wow a guy riding a hog no it's because the game is good because they 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 made changes and they were bold and they were, you know, they they took risks. And they didn't always win, but they were trying. All right. May update hero. The next May update will target heroes from the hero update poll event held last December. Further updates will also be made based on the results of the hero update voting event. So please stay tuned. To celebrate the nine-year update and the May update, we will hosting a live stream by inviting Marvel representatives. Please link, visit the link below and ask any questions you have about Marvel and Marvel Future Fight. Oh, so you can, you can fill out a survey to uh, send your questions into the Q&A. That's cool. Um, okay. We will prepare various uh, updates and events so our agents can, agents can enjoy the journey better with the various heroes of the Marvel Universe. Thank you so much for enjoying Marvel Future Fight. Yada, yada. We would like to send a special reward to our agents. Gratitude. Please continue to adventure Marvel Future Fight. Um, you can go into the game and check the developer's note pop up and you get an Odin's blessing and you get a four star artifact and you get a new vibranium gift chest. God damn. That's awesome. Okay. This video has been way too long. Um, so I have to wrap this up, but yeah, I, I am happy. I am happy to see them doing a dev note. I am happy to see that they have a lot of stuff on the table. Um, I want this game to last to the 20th anniversary. Okay. I know I've been pretty negative in this up in this video and, and people may get the impression that I want the game to fail or I want the game to shut down or something like that. Um, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't for so many reasons, right? This this game has changed my life. This channel has changed my life. And, um, you know, I want them to succeed. I want you guys to have a game to play. I want you guys to be happy, you know, but I, but I want them to do it right. And I want them to actually put in effort because I see you guys coming back to this channel day after day, watching my content. I see you guys posting in the comments. I see you guys posting online, social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Reddit, etc. right? You guys care about the game. You guys want the game to be good. 
um, for so, again, for so many reasons, right? Some of you guys enjoy this game because it, it relaxes you. It takes it takes your mind off of, of stressors in real life. Some of you play this game because it's your outlet to, to express certain things creatively. Some of you play this game to collect. Some of you play this game to spend money as your entertainment budget. Whatever your reason, right? It doesn't matter what your reason is for playing this game. You deserve a good game to play, right? Whether you're free to play and you started yesterday or you're a whale and you started uh, nine years ago, it doesn't matter. Everyone deserves to have a good game to to play. And that's my job. My job is is to, to make them know and to make them feel like they always have to be better, right? To, to, to push them to, to strive to be better, to not be complacent and to not be happy with the bare minimum. Because all too often these days, companies are satisfied with the bare minimum as long as they're making money. And it's just, it's, it's so upsetting to me. So I know I seem really angry sometimes. I know I seem really toxic sometimes, but I'm always doing the, I'm always, you know, being guided by that principle in mind that if I can say something to make them uh, make the game better, even, even just 1% better then I should say something, you know? So hopefully that makes sense. Sorry for making this video so long. Hopefully you watched all the way to the end. I appreciate you if you did. And if you didn't, that's cool too. Um, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this dev note. Um, cheers to, to nine years of Marvel future fight. I hope, I hope we see nine more. As I've said before, when I said, I hope we see four more and I was right about that. And, um, I hope the devs listen very carefully to everything that everyone is saying and that they, you know, and that they, they, they try a little bit of, of bold, um, you know, renewed hype for the game. Anyways, uh, hit me up in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching the video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the content. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.